Hello everyone, welcome back to our Prime Coding channel. So today we're gonna start a new series, which is an off on campus placement series. So this series will contain set of questions that are asked by TCS, HCL, IBM, and many more service based companies. So guys, this type of companies basically focused on your fundamental skills of programming. So you should have a good grip over the basic concepts and the fundamental topics which are there in the programming languages that you are using to solve problems so guys pre-request of this particular series is you have you just ha have a good knowledge of for loops while loops and print statements and few types of logics of how to perform addition subtraction and all so i hope you have all this of informations and uh, the pre-request you have obtained so guys let's move forward with the series so today the first question that we're going to solve is find the smallest element in an array so guys as this question is the very first question of our series i will solve this question from the scratch fine and afterwards after uh, this question whatever question that we're going to see will solve it very straightforward afterwards all the questions that i gonna solve i will do it straightforward so now let's see let's see how to do this question guys if you have a basic knowledge of for loops or i would say while loop so till now you have been figured out how to do this question but if not i am here to tell you now let's approach this question so guys how you can approach this question or tell this question to the interviewer firstly you have to speak whatever you are thinking so that your interviewer will be engaged with you every time now you just see what the element we have in the array in the array we have two five one three zero so by the visual approach what i can say is the minimum element present in this array is zero is it and we just have to return this minimum element zero so the zero will be the output of this particular array so guys how we can solve this as i have told you if you know this for loop for while loop till now you have solved this question into your mind or your into your compiler so guys let's see how to solve this question so solving this question what i will do i will initialize and pointer which will point over the very first index of the array let's say this this is an pointer i which is pointing to this element which is present at zero index fine now i value will start from zero and go to till n in this case uh, we have in total five elements but in programming language since it start from zero in zero based indexing it starts from zero till n minus one so this particular for loop will go till four fine like now what i will do i will take some element or uh, a uh, random variable temp or answer let's say i have stored an answer which will store the minimum element that we have seen so far we will initialize something big to it like infinite number to it okay now uh, what i will do i will tell answer please store the minimum element min is an inbuilt function guys it will be present in e any of the programming language that you are using okay so we are using min we will tell please compare yourself and compare yourself with the element that we are pointing currently so we are pointing correctly is to is it so we will tell array of i the min function will store the minimum element among these two okay so this is the few lines of code that will help us to solve this question now i will tell you what will be the time complexity so firstly what does this time complexity means like how much time you are taking to execute or your program will take time to execute the instructions the lines of code that you have written so i will tell you this time complexity will be o of n what does this o means arithmetic this means a worst case our array will take the n time means it will traverse from 2 to 5 to 1 to 3 to 0 it will traverse to all the elements so in this case in this case the particular time complexity will be big o of 
for because we are traversing to the five elements that are present in this array now we have discussed the time complexity and few sets of few sets of code lines now let's move to our compiler and see how to do that but before going to compiler i think you should do how this for loop is working like at i equals to 0 what element we are pointing on we are pointing on to this we are pointing over the second uh, first zero index value 2 now what it will do answer will store the minimum element among them minimum is an inbuilt function and till now what is the value of answer that we have created some infinite value and the current value that we are on is 2 we store the minimum as this is infinite what will the minimum value of this the minimum value will be 2 so our answer will be changed to 2 like this like this for i1 2 3 and 4 this same condition will work is it so guys i will tell you that please try to do this by yourself you will definitely get a good grip over the for loop like how this for loop is working so guys let's move on to the compiler to just finish up this problem now i have written some few lines like array res and the print so what res is res is a result which will store the result which comes from this get min function get min function will give us the minimum element so i will write the min element min element set it to some big number so some big positive number i have given now what i will do i will traverse over the array for i range uh, len of array it will traverse over the array now what i will do i will store the minimum element as we are going forward we will store the minimum element so it will be minimum of uh, the current value of the minimum element and current value of the minimum element and the current element that we are pointing on and we just return our minimum element to the function now i think we are done with this so let's check what will be the answer so yeah guys boom we have zero as the minimum element in this case so guys let me check my code with some few other case if i remove this zero it should give one as the minimum element let's run this and so yeah guys we are getting the minimum element as one so bingo guys you have solved this question i will be putting this question into my github you can access this code and if you really got the concept behind finding the minimum element i hope i hope you can easily solve this question guys in this question you just need to return the maximum element present in the array as we have used the inbuilt min function in this question you can use the max function inbuilt function and you will get the largest element in the array so this is a pretty straightforward and an easy question i will definitely tell you to try by yourself and find the answer of this question so yeah guys if you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i will meet you with another video soon